With so much going on in the world of sports, different cups of tears to drink between Juventus and Chelsea, we have Udoka Onjoko joining us this morning to share with us, all right? Good morning, Udoka. Good morning, Olive. Good morning, Asaragi. And to talk about Chelsea and Juve, Olive has a touch of blue, that's Chelsea. And for Asaragi, black and white, Juventus. I mean, we're here to have fun and drink to the fullest. Absolutely. To I'm, I'm wearing this in honor of my Chelsea African brothers and sisters wow. around the continent. Not, not how, how soon do you think it, it would be before, you know, the Chelsea fans start to reject the new coach? Well, uh, I, I, I think we should give him time. I think we should give him time. He will come good. And yesterday, one of the Chelsea fans on social media called him a clapping coach. For everything that happened on the football pitch, he kept on clapping. But that's what, and, what they should want, a very passionate coach. But hey, they need You're, to win. They are clapping and they are bottom of the uh, league table. Yes, that's what, a true, that's what a true fan does. You clap in the good time and in the bad time. Okay. You're saying that he needs some time. Time, is that what, is Chelsea known for giving people time? Well, they're well, not they quite patient. A new, a new manager, a new owner. Let's see how much patience they will have with Graham Potter. But uh, they need to be careful because... Europa League is calling. But Sorry, before, to... before you go into sports, do you think that Tuchel is somewhere laughing like... <laughs> oh, well, so... you know, I, 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 I don't want to... Let, let me play the devil's advocate. There's this thing about the Chelsea curse and uh, for Thomas Tuchel. He said, look, he is actually surprised he was fired from his position as a Chelsea manager. He has moved on. He has wished them well. Uh, but, of course, we look forward to what will happen in coming days. And Thomas Tuchel will be sure that he's not happy with how he was treated at Chelsea. But we're very sure he will get a new job very soon. Maybe he'll be, he'll, be, he'll be going back to Germany, probably to RB Leipzig. We never can tell. All right, Tudoka, talk to us. What's happening in the world of sports? All right, let's talk about former Sharks lose forward Jacques Vermeulen. He has been unable to return to England after his passport was stolen in a car robbery. Vermeulen had specifically returned to Nzamzi uh, to renew his passport in order to continue playing in England. He left his documentation You're in his of. car, which was stolen and has since been unable to return and uh, subsequently yeah, missed the opening round of the Guinness Premiership. The report adds that Exeter are working on obtaining an emergency visa for Vermilion. And to Egypt now, Egypt Premier League side Al Ali's marquee summer signing, Bruno Savio, has expressed delight about his move to Cairo and believes it is the biggest of his career. Speaking about his move, Savio revealed that he was eager to join the Red Devils. Bruno Savio was officially revealed as an Al Ali player, arriving for a fee believed to be in the region of $1.5 million after an outstanding season with Club Bolivar. The 28 year old managed to score 16 goals while providing four assists for Club Bolivar in 31 appearances in all competitions. As a result, Al Ali tied down the Brazilian winger to a three year contract that runs until the end of 2024 2025 season. He also became the only current Brazilian in the Egypt Premier League and the third from his country to represent Al Ali. Now let's go straight to the UEFA Champions League as 10-man Rangers fell to their third consecutive heavy defeat without scoring despite a more encouraging performance against Napoli on a dramatic night in the Champions League. Matteo Politano's penalty and late strikes from Giacomo Raspadori and the Tangi Dembele secured victory but only after Alan McGregor twice denied Peter Zielinski from the sport. Now, James Sands was sent off for conceding the first penalty, and though McGregor saved twice following the VAR check for encroachment, he did not deny Politano. Victory means Napoli top group A with maximum points after two games, with Rangers winless ahead of back-to-back -back meetings with the Reds, that is, uh, Liverpool in the next game. Still talking about the Champions League now, Erling Haaland hit a late winner against his former club, Borussia Dortmund, as Manchester City came from behind to snatch a 2-1 win. The prolific Norwegian was kept quiet by his old teammates for much of a KG encounter at the Etihad Stadium on Tuesday, but then clinically they volleyed in six minutes from time. Now, England international Jude Bellingham had given Dortmund a surprise lead after the break, but City leveled with a stunning strike from John Stones 10 minutes from time. Now for Erling Haaland, he scored a remarkable 86 goals in 89 appearances for Borussia Dortmund before leaving in the summer. And uh, he then struck his 13th goal in nine games for his new club, Manchester City, having earlier hit the post. Now the victory gave City the outright lead in Group G ahead of back-to-back -back games against Copenhagen. Now for that game, no music was played in the build-up 
And uh, that's as a mark of respect following the death of the Queen Elizabeth II. And of course, the period of silence was well observed prior to kickoff. Now looking at the other results from the UEFA Champions League now, we told you earlier on that Manchester City had to come from a goal down to win that game against Borussia Dortmund. There was also uh, um, Napoli defeating their opponents, uh, Rangers, in that encounter. And uh, Juventus also lost that game. But of course, for the likes of PSG, they had to come from a goal down to defeat Maccabi Haifa by three goals to one. All right, moving on, let's talk about Paul Pogba's brother, uh, Matthias, and uh, three others. They have been detained as part of an investigation into an extortion allegation made by Juventus football star Paul Pogba. Now, the former Manchester United midfielder tried to pay the equivalent of £11 million to arm the blackmailers, but they had to settle for £85,000 cash because of the multi-millionaire footballer's bank withdrawal limit. Now, a criminal investigation is currently underway in France into allegations that the 29-year-old's brother, Matthias Pogba, who is 32, and the childhood friends were behind the plot. Now, Pogba told police that the gang followed him to Manchester and then to Turin after his transfer to Italian side Juventus earlier this year. In turn, Matthias Pogba has accused his brother of lying in an attempt to have him imprisoned. Wow, that's a lot of uh, uh, story happening over there with the Paul Pogba brothers. Now, Paul is set to defend the World Cup he won with France in 2018 at the upcoming tournament in Qatar. Quite a sad one for the Pogba brothers. I mean, it is a family, and I think they should stick as one, not having these kind of issues coming up on social media and all over the internet about the wrong things happening in that family. But then uh, for the Pogba, the investigations are still ongoing, and uh, in due course, the, some of his brothers and friends have been detained, and we'll see what the final verdict will be on that case. And we look forward to more interesting games to happen in football, the likes of the Europa League and, of course, the Conference League. And one beautiful thing about the Europa League is that it does welcome those who claim to be champions in the UEFA Champions League. Asari, what do you think about that? Uh, well, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, how it all uh, plays out. I'm, mm. I'm, um, well, sadly, Manchester United is not going to be playing, so, mm. you know, I'm, I'm almost indifferent. You know, but it's just interesting to watch, you know, these games and, you know, drink tears when uh, available. <laughs> Let's, let's talk about what's happening in Paul Pogba's family for yeah. a bit. And I, I think it's, it's embarrassing. just... embarrassing. Exactly. It's very sad, mm -hmm. very embarrassing. Although, yes, of course, there's been denial. He's saying that, you know, he's not involved. He's accused his brother. He's said that he's a victim of, uh, uh, you know, gang work yeah. involving his brother. Of course, his brother has denied it. And we also had reports of... I don't know if you heard the rumor of or the story of... The hyena? No, no, no. The, the black magic? The, yes, the black magic involved... In yeah. this whole scenario, it's just quite embarrassing. I, I don't know what to make of it. Now, should we should we find out that this is actually true? Will this be a case of entitlement, feeling entitled to your brother's money, feeling entitled to your family you know, member's it, money? You know, when you're talking about village people, you're thinking it's far off. <laughs> this is so sad. See mm -hmm. that it's, a, it's an immediate affair. Very, very true. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a sad situation because, I mean, when I heard about the diabolic part of it, uh, that he buried something in the middle of Manchester United speech, did Manchester United come out to make a statement that they did discover something at the center of the pitch? We've not heard anything from Manchester United. And there's been a lot of talk between the Pogba brothers. And I think this shouldn't be in the news at all. You should learn to settle your issues within your family. And uh, sense of entitlement, yes, I, I feel that that's also part of it. And uh, it shouldn't be at all. If it's Paul Pogba's money, it is his money. If he does want to share, well, he can go ahead and share if he wants to. I mean, this also happened with... Um, the African player, uh, Emmanuel Adebayo, who said his mother was one of the reasons yes. he failed in the world of sports. And I, I mean... This... That, that, that's, why, that's why I describe it as embarrassing. Yeah, you know? very, very Because embarrassing. I remember this is brother is also a footballer. Definitely. Or was. Um, it's just totally embarrassing. Mm -hmm. You would expect, you know, challenges to come from, from a totally different thing entirely. Yeah. Not your family member. Mm -hmm. Not your brother. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, working with blackmailers to try to get money off you. So... I don't know how this would end, and I'm looking forward to seeing you yeah. know, investigations. I think that this also highlights something that we don't oftentimes speak a lot about in Africa, which is yeah. sibling rivalry. And the fact mm. that whilst a lot of us have siblings, there are many people that cannot see eye to eye with yeah. their siblings. It's easier for them to relate to people on the outside than to relate with their siblings. With their siblings. And sometimes it even starts from childhood. You can notice it from True. right from when they're young, especially when one child feels like the parent prefers the other child over Envy. him. Envy I mean, I really him. don't know. I'm not a parent yet, but it you know, gives me grave concern for the child. I hope to be a parent someday, and I wonder 
you know, how it would be to be able to manage siblings and their relationship. Mm. Well, we'll see how that turns out for the Pogba family and uh, we just hope the investigations will come out very soon and uh, we'll hear what the final verdict will be. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us, Doka. Thank you very much.